In this module, we'll examine the Altium Designer window environment in greater detail. Altium Designer is a unified design system providing all the needed tools for PCB design. It includes everything from schematic capture to PCB layout, providing fabrication and assembly file generation, as well as library creation. All of these tools operate from within Altium Designer using a common tool interface with Altium's unified design database tying everything together. Altium uses panels and windows within the tool to provide a consistent look and feel for all of the applications. Here we see across the top of the tool the menu bars and the active toolbar. Note the workspace section in the center of the window and the workspace panels button on the bottom right. The status bar on the bottom left provides feedback on the current status. This is especially helpful when performing a multi-step command as it shows the prompt for the current step. Let's talk terminology. We have already seen the project panel and the gear and the user icons. Let's look at the others, including libraries, the panel button, and the active toolbar. Opening up Altium Designer with a schematic active in the workspace, we can examine the Altium Designer window elements more closely. The menu bar provides a number of pull down menus that are context sensitive based on the current active window. Here we have a schematic open in the workspace. With the schematic open and active, let's look at the active toolbar. The options on the active toolbar change based on the current active window in the workspace. Here we see the list of icons that are on the active toolbar used for schematics. Switching to the PCB window, we notice the icons change to reflect the new active window. Let's close this project so we can walk through the opening of a project. To close the project, we right-click on the project file and select Close Project. If we had made any changes to the files, there would be a pop-up asking us if we wanted to save those. To open up the project, go to File, Open Project, and navigate to the Install Directory of Altium, selecting the Examples folder, then the Spirit Level SL1 subfolder, and then the project file. This particular project has schematics, a PC board, outjob file, and schematic and PCB libraries. The libraries are project-based and are available only for use within this project. We will examine libraries in greater detail in another module. The project panel shows the projects and their files currently open. If, when you open up a project in Altium, you do not see this panel, clicking on the Panels tab in the very bottom right of the window will access a pop-up menu where we can select the project's entry. In this particular project, you can see that there are schematics, PCB, schematic symbol library, and a PCB footprint library. To open a particular document from within the project panel, double-click on it. Let's start by opening up the top-level schematic. This design is a hierarchical design with a top-level and multiple sub-level sheets in the overall design. We can open up the PCB by double-clicking on the PCB doc file. Here we see the PC board including the components placed and the routing as well as some documentation added to the PCB view. Clicking on the Libraries folder expands it. Now we see there are two library subfolders. It is important to note that these libraries, again, are project-based and only available for use in this project. The first library is a PCB library, and it contains the PCB footprints. Clicking on it opens up the library where we can view and edit the footprints. With so many panels and possible active windows, navigating within the tool can become a challenge. Altium allows for the user to customize the layout of the panels and windows. Let's look at setting up our environment. The panels on the left include both projects and schematic library. Switching between them is as simple as clicking on their tab at the bottom of the window. This brings up the topic of panel display modes. There are three display modes that panels can have, docked, pop-out, and floating. The current Projects panel is an example of a docked panel. Clicking on the icon that looks like a thumbtack so that it changes to the sideways orientation will change the Projects panel display mode from docked to pop-up. As you can see, when you leave the window, it closes. The last display mode is floating. To float the panel, simply grab the panel at the top and pull it off diagonally. Now the panel is floating, detached from the main tool window. This is a useful feature for allowing you to place panels on, for example, a second monitor while you're working on the primary monitor. 
Now with the panel detached and floating, you can in fact move it back onto the Altium Designer window. Notice that when you move it back, depending on whether you have it aligned to the left or the right of the windows, a highlighted rectangular box will show indicating that you can dock this particular panel on the left or the right vertically. Altium allows the user to customize the panel display modes to suit your particular needs or preferences. Typically I have the projects panel fixed on the left as you see, fully docked. This is a matter of personal preference and not a tool requirement. The workspace can display more than one window, even though only one can be active at a time. To display multiple windows, right-click on the gray tab area of the working window. This provides a few options for arranging or closing the windows. Selecting the tiling option provides a multi-window view, as you can see. Going back and selecting Merge All returns again to one active window showing. To switch from one window to another, simply click on its tab or its entry within the Projects panel. Now adding the WC Topping project and opening all of its schematics and PCB documents, we see the effect of too many documents to list across the top of the window. Here they are grouped by type. This was per our preferences that we set up in the prior module. With many documents open, picking the correct one to activate is accomplished by either clicking on its entry in the Projects panel or selecting it from the gray tab. If there are multiple options, like with the schematics, a pull-down menu allows you to select the desired document. Here we see the Schematic Doc tab has a number in the parentheses, indicating that there are 10 schematic files that we could open. Picking one from the drop-down menu makes it active, and if needed, changes the active project file, which is highlighted in the Projects window. Likewise, the split horizontal or vertical gives a different window layout. Feel free to experiment to find out what works best for you and your machine setup. Having two monitors allows for one to have the schematic window visible, with the other one having the PCB. This is my normal configuration, and it seems to work well for many. If during the process of customizing and trying different panel arrangements, you get the tool into a place where you are not able to get things cleaned up, it is a simple matter to restore the default look and feel of the tools. Simply go to the Preferences using the gear, and then under System and View, you can reset your layouts by clicking the Reset button under the Desktop section. Or, if desired, once you have a layout set up you like, use the Save button and save the layout to a file. This file can be loaded in using the Load button, and can also be used on other machines to replicate your current setup. This has been an overview of the various panels and the window environment for Altium Designer. We showed the various display modes for the panels, how to open up a panel, and how to modify the look and feel of the tool layout. In our next module, we will explore the design project concept. Please do the exercise customizing the Altium Design environment.